Okay. Whew. This is a really hard topic. Um, the concept of identity is like really rough. Um, like, who are you or who do you exist as? So like, here's like, I just thought of like a couple like random thought experiments. Cause I, um, and it kind of goes back to the idea of like, maybe one way you could frame this discussion is like, is it actually immoral or wrong to kill somebody who's sleeping? Okay. So like, here are just some questions, I guess. Let's say, so let's say that you enter like a lab. Let's say that somebody puts you in a room and they are able to clone you perfectly, one-to-one. -one. Say that the room is dark, so neither person can see their position, right? So you go in and you come out and there are two of you, right? How the f could you ever determine which one is you? Like, would there be, like, it seems like identity has to do with some identity of the self, like physically, and then some identification with like prior memories, right? Um, th that seems to be the case, right? Like, oh, like I know I'm me because I remember being me. Um, and I know that I'm me because there's some like, there's some consistent like timeline of events that I can identify with. Like, how do I know that I'm me? Well, physically, I possess a body and that's what I identify as physically. And then me is a concept I can identify because I remember things I've done. And, and I think even so, like, I think that a lot of the identities that we have are really just like strings of memory. So for instance, um, if I say like, oh, well, who, you know, who am I? Well, you know, like I play Starcraft. I'm not playing it right now. I did at one point in the past. It's like, oh, sure. I mean, like I, you know, I talk to my friends. Well, I'm not right now, but I did in the past, right? Like, I think it feels like identity is like um, is like this kind of like stream of memories that you have, right? So if two p if, if one person walks into a lab, gets cloned, and then two people come out, and neither of them were uh, know their position prior, right? So you can't tell like, oh well, I saw him appear over there, so of course he's the clone, right? It feels like you'd have no way of knowing which one is which, right? Okay, so this is like one. I think this is relatively non-controversial up to this point, although I'm sure some people find controversy this, right? Okay, but now my next question. So here's my next question, okay? If you go to sleep. And then you wake up in the morning. My, my question is that like, is, is stopping that stream of memory, is halting your conscious experience, is that like essentially dying? When you wake up, right? Have you essentially been dead for some, have you, have you essentially been dead for some point of time, right? And then the next question is, um, because, because if, you, if you stop that stream of thought and then you wake up, my question would be like, what's the difference between you waking up versus you waking up as a clone, right? So let's say for let's say for instance, let's say that you go to sleep and while you're sleeping, let's say that two clones are made of you and three people awaken the next day, right? Um, for the three people that awaken, like you and your two clones, none of you really knows you know, which one was the original because you have no way of knowing. Physically, you're identical and you contain the same like string of memories. Yeah, I don't know. That's I feel like that's a weird thing because like then then the second the second kind of question then, let's say that like one person goes to sleep. Let's say that you clone this person. Then let's say that you kill the original person and then the clone wakes up. I, is this like just outside the boundary of like, since I don't really have like a strong meta ethical position, do I just not get to answer questions like this? Because I feel like what like, it just seems like a really weird Okay, hold on, let me use better words than weird. You can do this literally a moment of conscious to moment of consciousness. Yeah, well, that was gonna be my next thing, is almost like um, derivation or whatever, where I wonder if you could go to arbitrarily like finite moments of time and say that you exist as a different person from event to event to event. It seems like there might be substantially different though, um, in terms of like actually halting your conscious experience and then starting it up again the next morning. Because uh, this kind of kind of ties into my idea before is where like is it actually immoral to kill somebody in their sleep? Because if you go to sleep and you wake up and it's essentially indistinguishable from some temporary death and resurrection, if you kill somebody while they're sleeping and they're not having a conscious experience, is it actually like wrong at all? Hmm. I, I don't know. I, dude, there are so many crazy, horrible things about the Trump administration. We didn't get to appreciate any of them. It was a content overload. Okay, I'm sorry, but one of the funniest fucking things of all time was the fucking press conference in front of that Crown Royal fucking construction group. And we don't even get to really talk about that. It was, it, that was like two seconds on the news cycle. And that's, you, oh my God. So Crown there's like, Royal? there's like, a, or like the four, there's like a Four Points Hotel or something. The Four, the four Seasons. Seasons. The Four Seasons, yeah. Uh, this is like a famous hotel chain. And Giuliani booked a press conference, but when everybody showed up, they were in front of like a construction company called Four Seasons Landscaping. <laughs> Because they obviously they just looked it up the phone and they yeah. fucked up, but they just rolled with they, it. Like, yeah. okay, that's funny as fuck. Yeah. I didn't see it at all. Now, yeah.
Man, you, the United States just feels so fucking different three days later from fucking Trump. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I got hope. We got Biden being coherent, making good executive orders about shit. It's fucking crazy. That's cool that and all, but we still have the conservatives being fucking idiots. No. Oh, I mean, yeah, I agree. That is a Nathan for you bit. Oh, we can't afford the Four Seasons? Well, let's go stand in front of the Four Seasons landscape. But it seems more like an Arrested Development bit where they just fuck it up completely. Like, You know what? I think I'm done recommending the show. <laughs> like, I don't think there's any benefits in it whatsoever. It's all just downsides completely yeah. across the board. Well, I just gave you a compliment on it. Doesn't that make you feel a little bit good? No, because what's going to happen is in like three years, four years, five years, you'll be like, Dan, your fucking desk broke. It's like, it's not my fucking desk, dog. I just told you the one I use, okay? I don't want anything. You know what? Forget it. Fuck you. You have a recommendation for me? Nothing. I have nothing. I have no recommendation for you. Go figure it out and suffer yourself. So I don't have to hear the shit when, like, something eventually doesn't go right for you in your life. You guys are literally like parents. You're like Dan parents. Dan recommends the Jarvis standing desk is what he recommended, and I got it, so. Wait, what's Dan, the do you stand with your standing desk? Um, yes, I did today, actually, because my, my back has been hurting. <laughs> God, it fucking uh, pisses me off. I shouldn't say anything, but I don't care. I don't care, because you affect me not. So, I don't mind. No, I did affect you. I actually, I'm in your brain, Dan. I live rent-free. That's why your back's hurting. I made your back hurt. Hey, look, a fucking meme poll from RTBA. Once again, the double standards rules for thee, but not for me. Fuck, boy. Uh. Fuck you, RTBA. <laughs> Guys, are we okay? I don't give a shit. Try it again, RTBA. We'll see what happened. I swear to God, we will go mutually assured destruction on Wait, each other. Wait, I know how Dan can make RTBA. <laughs> Stop. That RTBA, no. that wasn't me. That was Moodle. No, that wasn't me. That was, was Moodle. That, that was, was Moodle. That was Moodle. That was, was Moodle. What were you going to say? What were you going to say? I no. know how Dan could make RTBA how? very mad. How? I, I know as well. He, he could be the bigger person. And oh, not yeah. go after him. That's, That's what you were going to say. I'm really. not going at, yes. He's going after me, okay? And I got to be honest, I haven't really done anything to defend myself, but I'll start. I will start. You can't Listen be a bear, Dan. You, you can. He's he'll a just, fucking bear. He'll live in DGG and I'll live in fucking Discord and Reddit and he can, we're just <laughs> fucking, we'll, I swear to God, we'll just go to war. I don't give a shit. Should I do a poll of RTBAs, man? RTBAs always, man. No, careful, you do that, he'll take away your permissions. True. No, RTB and I are like, uh, like what? <laughs> we're like Russia and the United States. So we do proxy wars. And Dan's like, our Israel and Palestine. <laughs> All in one. That's, That's not why goal. Dan lost his permissions, but he's too much of a beta fuck to ever admit he acts like a fucking loser sometimes. So whatever. How was Matt? Dan, why don't you have to say this? Shut up, soy bear. Soy. Look at me. I'm <laughs> RTBA. I have ultimate permissions. Soy. Don't <laughs> challenge me. Soy. Fuck off, bear. I will say I love and appreciate the support of all of my mods because they're all great people. But it does feel a little bit lame sometimes that Cake and RTBA will like shit on shatters and shit, and then when they like attack them back, they start banning them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Fuck that shit. I'm taking. I'm. I've drawn a line in the sand though. Fuck them. Fuck them. We'll, I'll. I'll do these goddamn games. I don't give a shit. Damn. You have nothing better Damn. to do, Dan. Calm down. I don't. You can tell when Dan's back is hurting when he's all riled up like right down? now. DGG for life. Are you riled up right now because your back is hurting? I mean, that's probably part of it. It's really fucking annoying that, like, <laughs> of all the things in my body that chose to hurt, it was my fucking back. But it's all right. I'm honest. I don't mind telling you that it hurts now, because usually it doesn't. <laughs> usually it's fine. It's just right now, I don't I think I must have, like, slept wrong or something like that, because, mm -hmm. God, it fucking hurts. Like, like you know, if you're going to, like, well, put I your can hands... I tell the story if you want. If you're going to put your hands up your hips, like you're waiting, you know what I mean? Like that, and then where your thumbs would be, that's like where it fucking hurts like hell. Right oh, now. like the, like the bottom of the bag? Yeah, like I, I feel like that's where your kidneys are, but probably, I think your kidneys are actually under your ribs. So that's does definitely not. Does it hurt not, on the side or does it hurt like in the back? No, in in the back. Okay. Yeah. Like but that's area. Yeah. Where your thumb is, exactly where your thumb is on both sides. I don't have any oh. thumbs in my fucking back, Dan. I don't know what the fuck you mean by that. I said if you were like putting your hands on your hips. Like you were doing like a mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking kidding. Uh, oh. What? 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 That's the fine. I'm just saying, if you're going to say fuck. that. I'll Tony W for that. Have you had an MRI or x ray? No. no. They, he's dying. Why would they waste the technology on him?
because he's a one percenter. Well, he's about to be a number, a figure. Wait, what do you mean by that? As then he's going to be dead soon. It's just another statistic. Yeah, you're going to feel really sad when I die, and then, like, this is your last memory of me, bullying me. Hey, just remember, Lycan suggested you go get medical help and didn't bully you. I'll be dead. I won't care that you suggested that. No, but your will hopefully will. No. Well, you think I'm going to update it, assuming I'm going to die, Lycan? <laughs> I mean, that's how wills work. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll say hi to Larry King for you, okay? Thanks, buddy. Too soon, Dan. Feels weird, man. Feels weird, man. Wait, did he really just die? Or are you memeing? Yeah. Wait, like today? today yeah. yeah. Wait, did he have the coronavirus? Did he die of COVID-19? They haven't released a reason earlier this morning. Am I crazy or was it confirmed a while ago that he had COVID-19? Had it in like, yeah, I thought so. Or was it, was that a long time ago? Ooh, that's pretty crazy. Larry King was the guy that did the, took a phone call during the Dave Rubin thing, <laughs> right? No, that wasn't him, Steven. Who was it? Don't worry about it. Oh, I think it was. Never mind. You died. Yeah, you know it was because you saw a fucking Reddit post today. You know goddamn well that it was. I did see the Reddit post. Like you have some genius fucking memory. No, I didn't even watch the episode. I saw the Reddit post. I didn't know if it was Larry King or some other guy. That's why I asked. Son of a bitch. I'm pretty sure whatever Reddit post I saw was literally in the front fucking page of Reddit. So I assume most people probably would have seen it. You think I'm just gonna try to sneak that by my audience? Yes, yes, I do. You know why? Because you do it all the time. You're no, you take callers, you take chatter stuff, and you pass it off as yourself. I do it too. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I acknowledge that I do projecting. it. He is projecting, yeah. Damn, why are you projecting? I think it's a self-esteem thing. Should we should we throw some raps at him? <laughs> uh, Dan, the projected man. <laughs> Go. You're you're a line. <clears throat> uh <laughs> Dan. I got a New TOS, remember? <laughs> Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dan, I'm the projecting man. Let me bring you over to my projecting van. <laughs> okay, I think we're good there. Yeah, I'm good. But we have to decide what level of sickness are we willing to live with, so to speak, to move ahead and open the country, because I don't know how much longer we can do this. David, that sounds ridiculous. Come on. You've got a well, there, world we have to figure pandemic. out what that level no is. What caused this? What, yeah. what, at, the, at whose risk? Yours or mine? You, you, it's okay if you die, right? But we have... Ouch. Would you rather fight a dog, Steven? Or a crocodile? <clears throat> I don't know. A dog, Steven, sounds pretty interesting. It's uh, just as horny as the real Steven. What? I tried. I'm done. <clears throat> Probably a dog. Or a crocodile. crocodile no contest. I mean, are you, are you just like running away an option? No, you gotta fight it. Are you on land or in water? Uh, on land. Hold on, I think I just, I was wrong. I, I'm fighting the dog, so I might have been. I yeah, because it, I mean, the crocodiles are scary. If they like bite you, I'm pretty sure you're fucked. Whatever it's in its mouth is gonna be separated from your body. Yeah. Dog, you give up your <laughs> arm and you can just like... I wish I had the opportunity without <laughs> like actually dying in real life. I feel like... I feel like killing a dog seems like it would be really easy, but maybe not. I don't know. Like, feel, dogs just feel like not very like sturdy things. Like their legs seem like they'd break easily. Like punching their face or their eyes or whatever, it seems like it'd be like pretty easy. Uh, but I don't know. I've never like. On the dog, but yeah, I'm not sure. If you have a weapon, I think destroying a dog would be easy. There's yeah. There's no situation where you want to go against an alligator. Like you're fucked. Even yeah, if I don't even know if land. I could kill an. I don't know if punching an alligator if you'd even feel it. I don't the know. Only the only way you can get it is like maybe if you gouge its fucking eyes out. But it's not. I don't. I don't think even know if they need it. eyes, dude. They're just like lizard things. They're like not even. They're like dinos. They're yeah. They're just weird. They like live on another plane of existence. Have you seen the video where like the guy's throwing chicken to alligators and the one alligator snaps another alligator's leg and does the death roll and rips it off? Mm -hmm. And the alligator like doesn't even care. He just like is exactly. chilling. <laughs> he yeah. just keeps going? He, you no, know, he doesn't even go. He just sits there. He's like, whatever, bro. They have huge weaknesses in their jaw strength. I thought an alligator's jaw was very strong. Like, you oh, can, wait. Could... It might be that they can clomp down on things a lot, but they can't open their mouth very much. Because I think if you hug an alligator's jaw, it can like never open it or something, right? I feel like I heard this at some point in time. Yeah, you can hold it open. Is or not it, hold or it sorry, open, you can, you can hold, hold it closed. It closed. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. hard for them to like open it, is what it seems like, yeah. So kind of like the opposite of your problem, like, and where you open your mouth all the fucking time. 
Oh man, that was a good one. I'm sorry, that wasn't that good. That was just mean. No, that, no, I fucking talk out of my ass all the time. You're absolutely right. Pick two. The rest will come to defend you. The the obvious answer for number <laughs> for one is ten thousand rats. Ten thousand rats is just that's easy. Wait, uh, ten thousand of anything is probably yeah, pretty here, difficult. I'll link you. Look at this. Yeah. Wait, Pick just two. tell me. I'm not gonna. Well, okay. There's fifty hawks, ten alligators, three bears, seven buffaloes. One human, fifteen wolves, ten thousand rats, five gorillas, or four lions. The Who one human sounds like probably the easiest of all of those. No. It looks like he has like a rifle. That's all. Oh, well, it's <laughs> not, not no 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 not like a good one. It's like a shitty like bolt action like hunting rifle. Uh, okay. And then, so for me, it's definitely ten thousand rats. Ten thousand is a lot of. Th that's a lot of. Wait, hold things. on. That's hold on. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah, are correct. they coordinated? Are they a hive mind, or are they typical moron rats that are just well, like in a stadium? they're going to try. They're going to try to defend you. Listen to me. Is this just like you drop off fifteen wolves inside of a stadium, like any other day, and you're just in the stadium too, and like? No, they are actively trying to kill you, and then your people are actively trying to defend you. So that's why I'm picking the 10,000 rats to be on my side, defending me. Oh, that's I thought you were saying yes. to like, kill them. To fight? Oh no. yeah, of course. 10,000 rats is OP as fuck. Yeah, and then you need one other to like, defend you. Um, which is probably the human. I'd say the probably hawks. the hawks. Really? Easily, yeah. The hawks could kill the human, I guess, as well. Mm-hmm. And the yeah. hawks could kill you really easily too, I imagine. If you've got like 50 hawks like dive bombing you and shit, so birds are really fucking big. Like there are a lot of really big birds. They kind of look small. We think of like doves and ravens or whatever all the time. But some birds are birds are pretty huge. Yeah, you, I mean, I think you have to either pick the hawk or the the, the human, because uh, <clears throat> the human can't kill the hawk. So uses a bold action rifle. Fifty fucking hawks. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking shoot quick. <laughs> yeah, maybe the hawk is the correct choice. The ten thousand rats is definitely the correct fucking choice, though. That's number one. Oh yeah, the issue is if you don't pick the human, that maybe he just shoots you, but... Well, are you guys like on a flat fucking ground? Like... I'm not sure. Doesn't, doesn't say. Because if you could take cover behind anything... I mean, theoretically, if, how much control do you have over the hawks? You could just have them like flying around you, creating like a fucking... <laughs> wall of hawks. You have the hawks flying around you, getting a... <laughs> I played Daisy, I think I can dodge a bullet. That has to be effective in real life to do it just doing like the zigzags against someone trying to shoot you, right? <laughs> From a Shooting distance. a moving target that's something that's moving laterally yeah. is pretty difficult. Fucking base. Or more difficult than just shooting something. Running straight forward, yeah. That's what Jon Snow's brother should have done. <laughs> Dumb fuck. Especially since those arrows have such huge travel time, it would be literally impossible for Ramsay. These things are in the air for fucking seconds and seconds and seconds. Like 5, 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, he can look back and literally fucking- Literally move, move out of the way. Yeah. Just move, literally. Just move, forehead. He was fucking weak. God, don't, don't bring up. Why would you bring <laughs> up? Don't bring up Game of Thrones. Why would you do that? Just stop. Shut the fuck Charles up. Charles Mayano, $5. Christ. 10,000 rats versus Mr. Mouton's <sighs> mom. Who do you got? Let's talk about Berserk. What's the, what's Berserk? Imagine how amazing that fucking Ramsey was, or that he could like aim that arrow and hit Tommen from 12,000 fucking leagues away. But when Jon Snow is holding a shield above his body, he can't just aim for his fucking foot. Oh, what a whole everything about it was so stupid. Well, who's your favorite Avenger? Probably Iron Man. He's a good one. Yeah. Steve? <clears throat> I don't know. Probably Batman. I wonder what would happen if a neurotypical person or like a non depressed person took antidepressants. Would they get like extra happy? Um, I think suicidal, right? I don't even know I if no I don't even know if that would if we necessarily would even think that that would make somebody happy. I'm not sure. Cause it, like, if someone took like a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, right, and they already had a lot of serotonin. Yeah, but the problem it is, just... it's not it's not like a one to one. Like, you just need more serotonin, and it makes you happy. Like, serotonin is responsible for so many things in the body beyond just like your mood. And it, like the way that it is right now, I think like the the exactness is like we think that there are some people that 
possibly have uh, an experience with depression that might be tied to an imbalance of neurotransmitters in the brain, which might be helped by taking a certain medication that um, increases the amount of serotonin available, like that neurotransmitter. But there's like so many different like contingent parts of that. There are so many like other things that serotonin impacts in the body that like, I don't think that it's as simple as like, oh, if you take serotonin, it'll just boost your mood. Like, I don't know for like a normal person. If like, it could be that having too much serotonin is bad for you, or it could be that too much serotonin will cause other negative bodily functions or something as well. Like there's like so mm -hmm. yeah so many other that that like I don't I don't know what would happen I'm just saying like it probably there's more to yeah. it I would imagine. Yeah, I'm just I'm curious what would happen. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can Google it. Is. Like, yeah, what happens? Healthy person takes SSRI. Oh, actually, you're not gonna find much information on this because they would never study this. Probably, I don't think you could make an actual study of this. But let's see. So this is all going to have to do with like bio biochemical interactions that are we like guess at um, at best. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, it's an Australian school. It doesn't count. Yeah. It's criminal how little research is done on this shit compared to like what should have happened over the past like 50 years. It's insane the amount of restrictions around all these chemicals and shit. Huh? Ethics are a thing for a reason? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. I had a friend whose mom took clinical trials for antidepressants when she was pregnant with my friend. That's a big no-no, but now my friend's brain acts as if she is on antidepressants all the time and it results in her seemingly really joyful all the time regardless of how she feels. I don't, I don't think it's that simple though. Like for a normal person, like, so people in chat were bringing up serotonin syndrome. Like if you overdose on shit like that, I'm pretty sure you can literally like have like fucking seizures and like go into shock and just die if you overload on that. Because serotonin is really important in like the, in like the day-to-day the -day functions, I think of your entire, like um, your entire like central nervous system, I'm pretty sure. Like, I, I don't think it's as simple as just like, if you take it, it'll make you happier. And the more you take, the more happier you get. But the, but the problem is that everything related to neuro anything is like so poorly understood at the moment because it's like the it's like the softest of all the uh, biological sciences because there's like a trillion different variables involved and who the fuck knows what anything is doing at any particular point in time like it's really 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 complicated. Do you think you'll be partnered again? Um, I don't know if at this point I would actually really have to think about it. I'm not sure. I've been kind of lazy. I need to get that try streaming on Facebook set up. Um. But the thing is, is that like, I actually, like I pull like a consistent at least 1500 viewers on YouTube. And if I'm doing anything else, it's like more than that. Plus I get like a sizable chunk of donations from YouTube, like an okay amount, not enough to offset what I lost in Twitch revenue. But like when I cover really big stuff, I get like a lot of the extra viewers on YouTube. Um, so I don't, it's hard to say if I would accept that partnership and like just stop streaming on YouTube again. I don't know if I would do that. I think there's a, I think there's a decent opportunity there that would be missed if I were to do that. Were you worried during the Bob7 saga that Twitch would ban you? Yeah, I'm always worried about getting banned from Twitch. And I feel like at this point it's inevitable. Especially reading through that new TOS. Like, I feel like at some point I'm going to get dinged for something. <sighs> Which is a little disappointing, but... Whoa, hello. YouTube VODs are so much better, but how are they ad revenue wise? I don't get any ad revenue because inevitably we'll look at something that gets like copyright hit. It might even just be part of a game, so. What about a YouTube partner? These fucking scientists. What about a YouTube partnership like Valkyrie has? Um, I don't know if I'm big enough for that. Doesn't Valkyrie have like over a million subs or something? Being partnered again give you any extra protection against being banned in the future? Nah, because I'm not really in with like any of the Twitch crowd anymore. It's all new people and the older people. I don't think would have my back for anything anyway. <laughs> so, um, like my last partner manager sucked ass anyway. I remember that like when everything started to happen with the, when I got that email and I was like, yo dude, like what's going on? Like I got an email and he's like, oh, uh, you have to talk to someone else about that. I can't help you. And it's like, okay. Like the, he never really communicated anything or gave a fuck at all about anything. Do you think Facebook would be very good? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. That's a pretty untapped market for streaming. How many viewers does Toast usually get? Oh, and then also I'm doing politics, and politics seems to be like pretty active on YouTube. Actually, a better question would be how many viewers does David Pakman get on, um, on on uh, Facebook? Because he streams there too, doesn't he? Or does he not stream there as well? I 
I know you feel better about setting up a Patreon without any set goal for the Patreon, but it seems like a way to make up some lost revenue. I have to be careful. I don't want to like exhaust. I think there's going to be like an exhaustion fatigue if I'm trying to like solicit donations too much. Like I already turned down like a five figure partnership that I was going to do with that streaming plot with the donation platform um, because uh, I'm worried that if I try to do too many charity streams on top of trying to fundraise for my political stuff, it won't work. Um, so like, I don't know if um, I have to be careful in terms of like how I monetize. Cause if it's like, hey guys, sign up for my Patreon and subscribe to my website and donate to my political stuff on Omaha and donate to this charity thing. And like just do a bunch of media share streams. People mean, but the media share streams probably work because they do them pretty sparingly. Like if I did a media share stream every single day, it's not gonna be as popping every single day, right? I'm trying to be like responsible with how I manage my revenue, but I'm not like hurting, okay? I don't mean to give that impression, okay? I'm not gonna Hassan you here and tell you that like, oh, I can barely afford to live. Like I'm still doing fine financially. But I, but like, I have to just balance out like my projects, right? Like I'm doing fine financially, but $60,000 still, that's a lot of money to me to just invest in a project that I'm not getting any return on, right? That's, I'm just trying to be careful how I manage things. But it's, I'm not at the point where I need to like figure out like alternative ways to like run ads to you guys and shit. Maybe, about maybe too many volunteers, like too many you can't accommodate all of them. Um, a little bit. I'm just, right now I'm just worried about cost is what I'm trying to control for. Um, we have like 70 right now, which is honestly like an ungodly amount given the city. Um, so I think I'm probably, that's why I haven't pushed it on my YouTube yet. But I think like if this first canvassing thing goes pretty well, I think it would be cool to overwhelmingly force. I still think it's going to be like probably one of the biggest things in my life I've probably ever accomplished. If this guy becomes elected mayor with our canvassing efforts, it would probably easily be like one of the largest things I've ever accomplished. So too much is probably better than too little. Damn. What did Code Miko <gasps> suspension reason? Oh shit. What was it? During interview? Oh my god. What? Sorry. During an interview, a female streamer and I were talking about female harassment online, and I asked her what the worst comment was she'd ever received. When I saw the email, it was pretty bad and was more like a threat than a comment. From my experience, threats are almost never sent from the user's actual email address, but throwing up the screenshot got me banned? Wait, what? During an interview, a female streamer and I were talking about female harassment online and asked for the worst comment she'd received when I saw the email. It was pretty bad and was more like a threat than a comment. From my experience, that's almost never sent from users actually end up throwing up a, sc a screenshot of an email just showing somebody's email address got her a two-week ban? There's no way, right? Destiny, look at this. Guys, I didn't get a suspension because I was trying but for accidentally leaving someone's email that contained a first and last name, who cares? So, le so... Typical Twitch, bro. That's so butthole. weird to me. My so my I know a lot of people have gotten mad at me for saying this, um, but I'll stand by this. You. I don't consider emails sent to me as a streamer to be private. Um, if you're sending me an email and you're like a fan, or if you DM me on IG or whatever, unless we're having like unless that becomes explicitly clear at some point, like I don't really consider that communication to be very private. Like I'm a public figure. You're emailing my in, me my inbox. Like that's just yeah. I don't I don't know like. Uh, I just want to say it seems kind of fucked up that like uh, you can omega lol your butthole for uh, a few minutes and get three days and send a fucking god say a first and last name in two weeks. And maybe this shouldn't be factored into how you think about this, but man, dude, how fucking baller does that harasser feel? Not only did he get to harass one woman, he got another woman banned for two weeks for showing his email. I bet he's the one that reported it too. I mean, like I don't generally publish emails like that. Sometimes they're pretty funny on it, well, but like. Yo, Dest Warden Train have your back. Also, you should make friends with Sikuno. I'm sure he would defend you, Pockers. I no streamer will ever defend any other streamer publicly. Most streamers are way too fucking scared um, of getting like fucked. That's why the union thing would never work. Not, I'm not calling out Sikuno specifically there. Like he seems like a chill dude, but I wouldn't expect any streamer to go out of their way to defend anybody else either. Least of all me. Some streamers are celebrated if you got banned, but I think Train would have your back. I think Train would talk about it for a little bit. I love Train, but realistically, I just don't think there's much you could do. So you guys don't t like debate or talk or like, when you argue, does yeah. uh, is it like when he like does he start like rap godding like he does to everyone else? <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 not at all. He doesn't even do okay. the video so he doesn't really do that. No. That's okay. really good because that's always been like my scariest like that's yeah, the intimidating no, no. factor of talking to him is being Same. like oh my god am I gonna like say something and then I'm just gonna no. be. I mean, he, he really is like the nicest person. He's never gonna do that. He's <laughs> never, maybe like on stream, but like barely on stream. Like if someone is being an absolute idiot, idiot he will do it. But like otherwise he, 
He won't. No, no, no. I, I feel, I don't know. It makes me a little sad that people think that, that people don't dare to talk to him because they think that he's going to, like, attack them or something. That yeah. it doesn't happen. I feel like other people do that more than he does, like, in real life. Well, I don't talk to him because he's political, and I'm, I just don't oh, go I, there, especially on the I'm stream. Go, but the oh, times that I, I have talked, I, when I met him in person, we have yeah. talked, like, and it's been nice. He's chill yeah. and calm, and yeah. I, yeah totally I not I what I was expecting on, like, from what stream. You yeah, know, the yeah. He's a really nice person. He's he's like the nicest person that I know. He is really like the nicest person. Like I I feel like I've met other streamers that's been like way more like shitty or just like not nice and like arrogant. He's like the nicest. He's like the kind of person that if he sees someone like I think we were at the airport and he saw saw someone that looked confused. He like sees that and he walks up and says, "Hey, can I help you with anything?" He's like that kind of person like if he sees someone that is like oh the lady that from, couldn't like, find her fucking uh, gate for like going into the door he's like opening it and he's like waits for a whole minute like he's like he's like the mm -hmm. nice person he always like i don't know he's he's super super nice if he sees like a good idea to like give none of this actually happened <laughs> she's lying <laughs> i debate people at the airport remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed hello 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 Hello? How do you say hello in Swedish? Hey.